welcome back to my new lecture of control engineering dear friends as you already know in the previous lectures i have discussed about the rules of uh, reducing the block diagrams now i am with the problem solving video so let's take the example here uh, the problem problematic part of uh, this particular block diagram so question is uh, reduce the block diagram using block diagram reduction technique and obtain control ratio that is transfer function you have to calculate okay so as i earlier mentioned the seven rules which you should remember if you don't know also in this video we'll discuss you will easily understood in the problematic part itself let us reduce this block diagram here so you should refer uh, those two videos which i have uploaded i will just uh, provide the link in the description box so you can avail that particular videos also okay so let us try to reduce it so first of all uh, you just observe here these are the two summing points and these two blocks are in series you can easily combine these two blocks which are uh, if the uh, if these are in series if these are in parallel accordingly you can combine so here i am observing uh, the two blocks are in series so i can combine it by multiplying it so g1 into g2 it will become so one box i am getting here that is g1 g2 so setup wise you have to go through combine blocks in series that is g1 and g2 i am observing here these are in this series you can easily combine it okay rest of the diagram is same h1 is feedback here and uh, here it goes to g4 g3 and summing point cs output function and these are the feedba uh, feedback paths h1 and h2 rest of the diagram is same i have just make one move here that is combining uh, these two blocks in series this is the first step next step is combine blocks in parallel i am observing here these two blocks are in parallel so you can easily solve it also you can easily combine it that is whenever the blocks are in parallel you have to add them according to the feedback so here is a positive and positive value so you can uh, add g3 plus g4 in the parallel case so i am adding here as g3 plus g3 g4 as a one box rest of the things will remain same in the diagram that is summing point summing point g1 g2 g1 g2 h1 h2 rest of the things are same so step by step you have to go through now i am observing here the canonical form of the uh, what we call block diagram that is one forward path and one feedback path it is called as minor loop or canonical form so whenever there is a canonical form in the block diagram you have to use the formula for transfer function that is c of s upon r of s which is equal to g of s into 1 plus g of s h of s so what is the g of s value that is g1 g2 so write down g1 g2 right then 1 plus g of s h of s so 1 plus g of s is g1 g2 so g1 g2 h of s is h1 so h1 i am writing here so one box i am getting by eliminating this minor loop okay so so step three is eliminate the minor loop over here right so next thing is uh, this g3 g4 is will remain same okay and this c of s is as it is and this h2 is feedback remaining here so this is your diagram now uh, if you are observing here these two blocks are in series now right so you can easily combine it by multiplying these two terms so you will get combine blocks in series r of s when you combine that particular part so you will get g1 g2 into g3 plus g4 upon 1 plus g1 g2 h1 and this is the output function and one feedback path now if you just observe dear friends in this step fifth i am getting here one summing point one uh, take off point and this is the forward path one feedback path so this is also called as minor loop or you can easily say this is the canonical form of the block diagram you can easily solve now by uh, taking the transfer function so i can write down eliminating uh, this uh, minor loop determine the transfer function so c of s upon r of s is the transfer function which is equal to g of s g of s means this term g1 g2 g3 g4 so i am writing here g1 g2 g3 plus g4 upon uh, 1 plus g1 g2 h1 so this is your whole g of s okay upon 1 plus g of s h of s so 1 plus g of s is same this terminology g1 g2 g1 g2 g3 g4 upon 1 plus g1 g2 h1 and h of s is h2 so into h of 2 okay by simplifying it you you check here g1 g2 g3 g4 as it is upon 1 plus g1 g2 h1 as it is right uh, then divided by this will get cross multiplied here 1 into this 1 plus g1 g2 h1 into 1 that is 1 plus g1 g2 h1 okay plus g1 g2 g3 
प्लस जी फोर इंटू एच टू सेकेंड टर्म ओके डिवाइडेड बाई वन प्लस जी वन जी टू एच वन सो दिस वन प्लस जी वन जी टू एच वन विल गेट कैंसल्ड विद दिस टर्म वन प्लस जी वन जी टू एच वन सो रिमेनिंग इज जी वन जी टू जी थ्री जी फोर सो मल्टीप्लाई इट जी वन जी टू जी थ्री जी वन जी टू जी थ्री प्लस जी वन जी टू जी फोर जी वन जी टू जी फोर ओके डिवाइडेड बाई वन प्लस जी वन जी टू एच वन प्लस जी वन जी टू जी थ्री एंड दिस एच टू सो जी वन जी टू जी थ्री एच टू प्लस जी वन जी टू जी फोर एच टू जी वन जी टू जी फोर एच टू दिस इज यूर होल ट्रांसफर फंक्शन और कंट्रोल रेशियो ओके सो द एबो इक्वेशन इज ऑप्टेंड फॉर द क्लोज लूप ट्रांसफर फंक्शन सो आर ऑफ एस इज इक्वल टू दिस होल टर्म यू कैन राइट डाउन एंड एट द एंड यू कैन राइट डाउन द आउटपुट सी ऑफ एस दिस इज यूर होल ट्रांसफर फंक्शन फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर क्लोज लूप सिस्टम सो आई होप इट इज अंडरस्टूड टू यू पीपल डियर फ्रेंड्स इफ इट इज बेनिफिशियल वीडियो फॉर यू सो शेयर दिस वीडियो टू ऑल दोज फ्रेंड्स सो एक्चुअली नीडिड इट थैंक यू